Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 24, and this is war number three. And we're going to go up against an alliance called Ghost Division Academy. So, as usual, I've already gone in and scouted the path. Uh, I might include my scouting in uh, some future videos. I don't know, maybe you guys might be interested. Uh, leave a comment, let me know if you are interested in seeing me scout the path out and maybe hearing my thoughts on why I brought in who I brought in. All right, so I take path three in both sections one and two. You can see that they didn't place a defender on that first node. Uh, sometimes they don't. It's a fairly weak node uh, and they might wanna reserve their stronger defenders for uh, tougher nodes. So I'm going to be facing Call Obsidian, and I'm going to use my girl, Black Widow Clairvoyant. Now, on this path, uh, she has a 80% chance to fail her nullification. However, that doesn't mean that she can't nullify, which you already saw she was able to nullify. Uh, so she is still a very good option for it. Don't ask me what happened there. Um, I was like, oh man, I got caught. But then I looked and I was like, oh wait, this is a, a lower level cord, you know, and he didn't do a lot of damage as you saw. Uh, this Black Widow Clairvoyant is a six star rank three. So we were good there. We weren't in any danger. Uh, and we were able to get called down uh, without too much difficulty. Now, one of the best changes that they've made to Alliance War is removing those links. Normally, I would have to sit here and wait for the boss to be cleared. And I couldn't take the boss usually because whoever cleared last tended to just take the boss. They were already boosted up unless they didn't bring someone to counter that uh, mini boss. So uh, I didn't get a lot of chance to fight the mini. But now, without links, I can. And since I only fought once uh, on my path, may as well. Now, I was a little worried because I'm not uh, as comfortable as I would like to be fighting uh, Professor X. So, Professor X, the thing that really messes me up a lot is that falter. You see he has a falter ready? Uh, and it always catches me because I don't always read or look. I'm too busy fighting. And so the falter text will pop up and I won't see it, won't notice it. I'll start going to attack. I might even fire off a special and just get wrecked when they counter me. But this time we didn't have that problem. We were able to get him down. Uh, I was paying attention, Got uh, saw the falter, so I swiped at him just real briefly just to get the falter going and then uh backed off and then when it was out then i continued my attack the um infection i don't know if that affects the uh falter because the falter is something that's on you not them uh but it's just easy to wait it out all right so on we go to section two uh the middle was cleared and i'm facing my friend Colossus. You find Colossus on this node very often. Uh, and if you don't bring a counter for him, it can be a bad day. Now, uh, I was told this was considered a Corvus trap after I had brought Corvus in one time and fought him. And yeah, I could see why. But as you can see, we nullified his armor ups and we're going to town. Uh, I love Black Widow Clairvoyant for this path, and I'm very happy that I took it to rank three. All right, so down went Colossus without too much difficulty. All right, now uh, we're not facing uh, really, really strong defenders at this point in time. Uh, and I, I'm trying to remember, uh, one of the reasons I try not to do these videos so late uh, I know that we had a really m uh, bad mismatch for the other team, and I'm trying to remember if this was it, because uh, it was a really bad matchup for them. 
when we get matchups like that, we will often just do a boss rush, save our items, and move on. Just try to get the bosses down to get those points. All right, so we're fighting uh, Medusa here. And as long as we can uh, nullify those Furies, we don't have to deal with living strands. But this is what happens almost every time. Uh, once she has a bar of power, maybe close to two bars of power, uh, she will play more passively until she has living strands. Then suddenly she fires her specials. It happens. You just have to prepare for it. Uh, you don't want to get trapped in the corner. Uh, if you find yourself losing ground against her, well, what you want to do is parry heavy to get her away or hit into her block. All right, so now, once again, we have come to the second mini. And I was very tempted to do this. I was very tempted. Um, I believe I could have taken this one with uh, perhaps Black Widow, Clairvoyant, uh, or possibly um, Warlock or Omega Red, now that I think about it. Um, Warlock might have been a little bit better uh, because he could somewhat control the um, power game, you know, from that buffet. Uh, but I think any of them might have been able to do it. All right, so now we're going to fight Dr. Doom, and you see how much health he has left here. Um, this fight got me a little upset uh and i'll tell you why as you see uh the fight here all right so he's got improved power gain you know you got the protect and all that good stuff so i come in with my omega red boost up you know with the 15 percent. no reason not to um we get so many of them and now i'm just gonna go in and fight him like i know to fight him okay He's doing some uh, damage uh, even in my block. You know, not too much. All right. And what I'm trying to do here is just get those spores on him. Okay. Um, so we parry. Lock the spores in. Look at his health. Just draining away. We've got this. Okay. All right. He don't want to fire his special. He's just doing this until the spores wear off. No special. No special. No special. Still no special. No special. Now my back's against the wall. Ooh, what do you know? A special. Okay, so I back, you know, I'm trying to push him back. You know, I cannot use a heavy here while he has that uh, aura up. Okay, so now I'm in the corner again. And what do you know? He catches me. Oh, look. Oh, just trying to hit me all over the place, all right? So I ended up pushing him to a special three. He wouldn't throw his specials until I was trapped in the corner. He's got that power gain. I couldn't fight him off out of the corner. So I'm just like, all right, uh, the last thing I want is for him to hit me. Uh, all right, so now look at that. Perfect evade. I'm doing great, right? And I want you guys to see this. Everything is good. I'm like, all right, we got him. You know, we, we did. And then look, what was that? Let me tell you what happened there. I swiped like I've been doing, and he did absolutely nothing. That's why you just saw, I just walked up to him because that's what happens if it doesn't get any input from you, what you saw happen there is exactly what happened. So that behaved as if I had not touched my screen at all. When you know I was baiting out, dashing back, doing what I've done for the entire fight. I was so upset because I pushed him to a special three, fired my special three off, got the little power drain, got him to fire his special two. It was the perfect situation. And I evaded the special two well. And I was set to finish that fight without any difficulty. And then that happened. These things happen, you know, a lot of times to me in Alliance War, yes, they do sometimes happen in other game modes, but nowhere like in Alliance War. So they've done a great job in removing the links, um, but I can tell you that the AI fights a little bit differently in Alliance War. It has a different AI profile, and 
things like that happen, which take away all any kind of fun. Even if I had come in and you can see my alliance mate came in and he finished off um, Dr. Doom. But even if I had finished that fight off, brought in, you know, Warlock or um, Black Widow Clairvoyant and just finished him off, I wouldn't have had a sense of accomplishment. It would have been soured because I should have taken him down with Omega Red. I fought well and basically I felt like I was robbed, you know? I, I didn't get the reward for fighting well that I was expecting and, and that I should have gotten, okay? But in any case, he went down and we'll take a little bit of a break and we'll be back and we'll find out how we did in this war. Back again, Lord Shadow's back. Tell a friend. What's up, everybody? We are back. And as you can see, we won this war. We are currently on a win streak. We lost the first war of the season, but we have won our last two. And let's hope we continue this win streak. Uh, we should have no problem getting platinum, but maybe we have a shot for platinum three. Uh, we'll find out as uh, the season progresses. Uh, they'll do some calculations and let us know what position we're in. Uh, we may end up doing just boss rushes at the end if they see that there's no way that we can get Platinum 3. No point in wasting items and pushing. All right, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Uh, if you have any comments on the gameplay, any fights in particular, questions, let me know in the comments below. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.